kidding me? The following podcast may contain explicit language and offensive material? Of course it fucking does! Welcome to the Bies de Resistance bonus episode number 12 with Lisa Graham and Dale Leopold. This is our last bonus episode of the year. Coming up in 10 days is episode 13, our season one finale, followed by a well-deserved holiday hiatus. Enjoy. Hi, this is Dale. And this is Lisa. And you are listening to bonus episode number 12. It's good amazing. Lord, we're good at this. <laughs> Absolutely. How long have we been doing uh, this? Like 50 years or something? B- yeah, the, Before exactly, the invention of podcasts, we just <laughs> right. did this on the we're... phone with each other. <laughs> Yeah, we could, you know, <laughs> they made a movie about it. It would be like 2001, you know, the dawn of podcasts. Uh, that would be us. this big monolith. It was, mm-hmm. no, anyway. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> since mm. April. Wow, it seems longer, but, yeah. but it's been fun. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and we've been having so much fun. And we keep picking up new countries of listeners. Like recently, we got, well, we already mentioned Turkey, I think, but uh, Denmark. And um, I hope they don't think that something is rotten with the podcast. No, uh, 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 uh. I know two and a half people in uh, who are in Denmark. Maybe. And a half? Well, they have a kid. And they have two kids, <laughs> okay. actually, but I don't know the other kids, so I only know half of them. Okay. I mean, she was a full-blown people when I knew yeah. them. Yeah. But... Uh, good. <laughs> Sorry, that didn't make sense, did it? Barry and Dedica, if it's you who are who are our listeners... Mm-hmm. Well, uh, just to give just to give our listeners a a sort of a peek behind the curtain into the glamorous world of um, voiceover. Um, let's see. Uh, this morning, I was uh, the voice of a um, of a, an American general for a movie trailer, a Belgian movie trailer, World War II movie, where they had someone deliver a few lines for the trailer, but it was obviously a very French accent, so it was not going to fly. Even though it was just a teaser, actually. Uh, the, but so I could say, you know, gentlemen, this is the plan. You have been chosen to lead this operation. That was it. So very it was cool. nice. Very nice. <clears throat> hmm, let's see. And I gave them. You know, Trying to I think what I did. a few different options, you know. Gentlemen, this is the plan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. yeah. What was your day like? So far? Uh, let's see. <laughs> um... I, I really didn't do anything exciting at all. I, I mean, I've worked, but it's just mm. mostly please press one. Uh, oh, problems. and on behalf of the whole team, we'd like to wish you the very best for the holiday season. No, <laughs> I got that wrong. For the festive season. Happy holidays. Mm. Blink, blink. Yeah. Well, just think, you're going to be making someone's festive holidays that much more festive i know the girl on the phone cares about me i do i do you're spreading a little sunshine i am just the right ready little ray of it (laughs) i don't know today's been a weird day it's very monday Uh and i'm in um christmas overload although not Mm -mm. finished yet right I uh, I saw your post about the Christmas lights and you're aiming for uh, being visible from space. <laughs> yes. If it doesn't look like a large, festive used car lot, I am not happy. And uh, Jay's perhaps not on board with this concept? or Holiday lights make him grumpy. <laughs> um, really grumpy. It's not holiday-ish at all. He does not say ho, ho, ho. He says all sorts of other things. It, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know... But I'm guessing the the Purple Avenger is totally on board. Yes, he is. He's um, he's pointing out things that Santa should know about. So, ooh, ah. speaking of, you you yeah. know how to get a hold of Santa. We may have to have a Santa call soon. Oh yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Uh, well, it was it was last year, I mm-hmm. guess, right? No, you it was had the summer. Call. I think it was in the summer. Oh, the summer. Oh, that's right. He was working. That's right. We had uh, Santa call his his. Uh, daycare his uh preschool thing and uh, and mm-hmm. give a message to yes right yes yes uh, i'm hmm. i am super famous amongst the five-year-old set because i know santa yeah. every now and then a little a little squirt will come running up to me and go you know santa and I go, yes <laughs> yes i do i do and that's i know correct. scooby and shaggy and <laughs> that's right Zoinks. really just anybody I had 
I had so much fun with our episode 12, with our little brief little Scooby-Doo um, <laughs> interlude there. <laughs> that was jinkies. That was so much fun. Uh, McGonagall good, on good. the Scooby-Doo. That, th- okay, he wants to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Entirely too violent. Uh-huh. Um, and But he loves Scooby-Doo, so I let him watch Scooby-Doo, and I frequently buy Scooby-Doo, which is dumb. Um, you know, like I paid twelve ninety nine to own digital version of the Scooby Doo whatever. Uh, okay. But I have discovered that every day at eleven o'clock, <laughs> Boomerang plays a Scooby Doo movie. So I am recording, 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 recording. Yes, including the one I just okay. paid for, which is recording today. Aha. <laughs> uh-huh. But it's the get you best way coming to, and going. Yeah, it's the <laughs> best way to buy some time is to Scooby Doo him. <laughs> When I've went on the the Warner Brothers Studio Tour, they have one little soundstage where they've got um, all the various vehicles used in movies. You know, there's seven different Batmobiles from, mm. and Bat mm. cycles and whatnot. And they also have the Mystery Machine. I know I've got a picture of me somewhere with a Mystery Machine from the live action <gasps> Scooby Doo uh, movies. Horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, having watched bad. a lot of Scooby Doo more than I should have, mm-hmm. those suck. It would have been a lot funnier if if uh, uh, if, if Buffy had uh, reverted to Buffy character <laughs> and, and started like you know stabbing a few um, ghouls. Yeah, it would be quicker. <laughs> no, I don't know why they have to capture them. <laughs> That's right. I mean, uh, straight to the point. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, ghoul. Um, it reminds me of around the same time. I think uh, when was it? It was a few years ago. I went to one of those cons, uh, mm-hmm. like a comic con thing in. Philadelphia with my daughter who was 11 at the time, mm. 11, 12. And I had turned around to, uh, actually like 12 or 13. I had, I had turned around to Buffy the Vampire Slayer as every responsible parent yes. should. Um, Feminist. Especially if father of a daughter. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, that, and she loved it. And uh, we then ran into uh, James Marsters, who plays mm-hmm. Spike on Buffy. Very nice fellow. And got to uh, he chatted with her and posed for a picture. And, and as they posed, as he was had his arm around her, like, you know, posing for the picture, he goes, you know, you are exactly Buffy-sized. You are, <laughs> you are exactly mm. the same size. And that, like, totally, the rest, I mean, we Ooh. met, you know, like, you know, Matt Smith, and, you know, uh, the doctor and everybody else. Uh, but that was the highlight for her is that oh, yeah. Spike told her that she was Buffy sized. And it was like, yes. And, <laughs> and in fact, um, just like literally two weeks ago, she texted me from college and said, uh, do you have that picture of me and, <laughs> and Spike? Because my, my dorm mates are, do not believe me that I, oh. <laughs> and so I said it to her. So like her, her status went way up on her nice. dorm up in Poughkeepsie. <laughs> Nice. I'm thinking um, it depends on whether or not it conflicts with the podcast convention. Yes. In Dallas next mm-hmm. summer. What's going on? Le- Leaky Con. It's Leaky. Harry Potter Con. Oh. Leaky Cauldron. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she is. She is fangirling. Fan, fan woman. I'm wearing my Hogwarts shirt today. You um, are absolutely. That's because it's Good jammies, stuff. and I don't want to talk about the fact that it's 11 o'clock and I'm in my pajamas. Well, still, but. Uh, we have. Um, and if you're in the IRS, don't listen to this. But um, next year, the podcast movement conference is in Orlando, so it is a very uh, nice way to be able to write off a trip to Harry Potter. Um, yes. And I will go to anybody's conference if it's in Orlando or Anaheim. <laughs> well, really don't care. <laughs> I'll tell you, because I, I went there last <clears throat> uh, last Christmas, actually, and, um, and my stepdaughter, <clears throat> sorry, my stepdaughter may rival you in, in Hogwarts fandom-ish. So like, like if she goes, and I want to see the two of you do that together because it would be so funny. Squee! The lots of it was, squee. It was squee, squee, squee. Um, <laughs> yes. I'm not uh, a squee girl, but I would squee at that. Sque- yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should have seen me at uh, Universal in L.A. Yeah. Because I, um, I got the magic, the special wand right. for the park, you know? Right. 
and then went to try it out, you stand in a certain spot and you do the right movements and you say mm-hmm. the right spell. And I couldn't make it work. And I had an anxiety attack, panic attack, hysteria. <laughs> oh, no. Because I was like, oh, my God, I'm a squib. Oh, God, I'm a squib. And my I goal, know. my goal. I know. Um, I ask Lori. Lori was there behind me, like, with a worried face. Oh, no. What if she can't? Oh, no. <laughs> a little helpful wizard guy. They usually have little uh, assistance because they have the same thing in Orlando. Uh, yeah. You know, where they'll... So maybe guide your wand a bit in the right motion or whatever and help you out. Uh, but pointed yes. out to me that the um, exhibit, the things were built for children. So perhaps I should aim lower. <laughs> and then I went, they, oh. Wait, they okay. were built for children? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go figure. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man, I meant to see Fantastic Beasts, but I had a nervous breakdown instead. I was going to go see that over the weekend. Ah. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. So I I must confess, I've not seen the the, the prior one, so I, I figured mm. I, I should probably see that before seeing Fantastic Beasts. But um, yeah. I've seen yeah. the prior one, but um, not in a while. I should watch that again. <laughs> the boys got me the ginormously huge Lego set for my birthday. Yay, yay. All 6,000 pieces. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how many of those thousands are have been assembled? None. Um, I haven't even no. opened it yet because I haven't figured out where <laughs> I'm putting it. And I have Uh-oh. to move the other Hogwarts that's in the office to use that table. And then where does the other Hogwarts go? And see, Jake thinks he can have it. And he's delusional because he right. can't. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> These <know>. are mommies. <clears throat> My husband uh, has a desk in this office that he uses as a place to stack piles of paper and things. And mm-hmm. so I'm thinking of kicking him completely out yeah, I of think the office. Uh, what, I think you should really like go whole hog and, and see if you can talk him into like building an addition. <laughs> um, <laughs> and <laughs> kind of the Hogwarts <laughs> shrine thing. I would uh, love to. Um, <laughs> and I have mentioned things like that before. <laughs> I, you know, I see Gaudi, uh, art architect the famed yes and go we could do that yes. or why don't we build a fake tree on the stairwell so jake can climb up it there you uh, go my husband just Ooh. you know what I mean, yeah, he's, yeah i know a, see you'd do it you're yeah, with me have one of those what's the tree that's the um that grabs people or grabs cars and oh the whomping willow the whomping willow yeah there you go put that in the stairwell I could make the whole thing inside here look like Hogwarts, and I certainly would if I thought I'd get away with it and have some resale value. <laughs> to the right Don't person? tell anybody, but we're thinking about selling before climate change makes this an <laughs> on-the-beach <laughs> property. <laughs> we're all knee-deep knee and yeah, let's see yeah, what We I, don't know yeah. how long we have for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank goodness the people in Washington are taking action. Um, Ah! I nearly got a spit take out of you that way. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it would have been an anger spit, it. though. It's People not like the same. me with terrific intelligence, uh, superior what intelligence, the you know, like. Fuck. God. <sighs> mm, he's know, tweeting man. up a storm today. Um, yeah. I think the walls are closing in. And, and I, his we, little butt's all puckered up. <laughs> we've got to we got to record some episodes because we may not have much longer to run <laughs> i know what do we do after this we have the i'm but you know what occurs to me yes so if trump's gone then it's pence but let's remember manafort handpicked pence he so did. Mm-hmm. pence should probably there's there's stuff if they're gone guess who's next speaker That's of the house so Yes, That's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just wow! That'd make my dad's head explode. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, yeah, um, I can I can picture it now. I all mean, I Fox, want for Christmas yeah. is impeachment, please. Yeah, Fox News would just be like, have a have a have a have a. I know. Whole, you know, mm, 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 mm-hmm. amazing. <laughs> and, and and not for nothing. Um, yes. I don't see any of the other potential incoming leadership positions being or any other leaders being castigated mm-hmm. quite so much as Nancy Pelosi. And what is different is. about Nancy Pelosi? Hmm. 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 I think it's a That's uterus. A yes, exactly. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. It's the lady parts that will get you every time. What the fuck? Come on. <laughs> that woman is, she's, she's tough. 
She's, She's great she... at rounding up support. She's an incredible Indeed. fundraiser. So why are you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, why are yeah. men so scared of the ovaries? What is it? <laughs> why do they scare you? You're a man. Mm-hmm. Why? Tell me. Yeah, you know, it's just she's too emotional. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, unlike our sober new Supreme Court justice. And if you're counting on it being a cyclical thing, a periodic emotional blast, she's well past that. <laughs> you know, that that argument never held water for me. I'm like, excuse me, no. they're, they're hello. Yeah. 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 If and she were periodically upset, it would be astonishing. <laughs> so. I'll tell you, if the current uh, resident of the White House was periodically upset, that would be a huge improvement. Instead, oh, yeah. he's like the toddler, you know, whose toy has been oh, taken away. So unfair. And um, yeah. We had a two hour like, meltdown oh, we... yesterday over Lego people. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wait, was this Lego people that you were not letting him play with? Is that no, <laughs> <Or> no, <laughs> no? He painstakingly all he does with Lego people, and he only plays with the people. Look at Chewbacca in my booth. Oh, Chewbacca, mm-hmm. there it is. Uh-huh. Like little breadcrumbs <laughs> to the mystery of how did things get moved around? Oh, I know. Yes, it was Chewbacca. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, as I think Chewbacca and some other pieces, but whatever. Um, all he ever does is set them up in lines for battle. And then he knocks mm-hmm. them over. Um, and so that sounds, they battle. And, that's a sound method there. Yeah, yeah. that's what he does. But um, <laughs> he, he had them set up on the coffee table, and I bumped it, and they fell over, and he lost. <gasps> I work so hard on Lord on that. You never do. <laughs> like, well, pick them up. Yeah. Here's a base plate. Pick them up and put them on this, and then they won't fall over. <laughs> All right, well, fine. you need to I'm get them. The back. simple solution is you need to get them a set of weebles. Weebles. They wobble, but they don't fall down. I know. I miss the weebles. Yeah. I don't think I yeah. had weebles. I just had the weeble treehouse in which my Fisher Price <laughs> people used to play and live. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I had, I had, uh, I had GI Joe, and uh, GI Joe was was awesome. And he had the articulated joints, you know, that could his wrists and everything else, so he could hold the the plastic rifles and whatnot. Uh, my sister, uh, who's a year and a half older, uh, had Barbies, and her friends would have Barbies, and sometimes G.I. Joe would be allowed to play with them, which was not, you know. Mm-hmm. It, it didn't we know what well, G.I. Joe wanted. No. We know. And Ken was usually burning with jealousy because, well, he couldn't. He has nothing. Yeah, he couldn't. Now, nothing not, ar- nothing articulated. And nothing. No genitalia and, mm-hmm. and so on. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> yep. My Barbie and Ken ran off to Vegas in the car- Barbie vet. Yeah. <laughs> Got married by a by a, <laughs> a Barbie Elvis impersonator. And, yes, uh, of course. You were there. How about that? <laughs> Did you take this, mate? Oh, you love her tender? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's um, our, our hope for retirement is we can all move to Vegas and do... <laughs> Weird weddings with our voice talents. You know, that's probably not a bad plan. It's hot. I mean, it's really fucking hot. I mean, hot. there's not going to be like social security or anything like that. So, you know, you might as well go with the Vegas wedding thing. It's here for the yeah. SAG pension fund. <laughs> uh, hooray. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get 30 bucks out of that right now. I'm very excited. <laughs> <clears throat> good stuff. Good stuff. See, cool. Karen well, says that when you say good stuff, good stuff, that's your way of, say, of trying to reel me back in. <laughs> I think you caught on to that, yes. Dang it. Now you have to pick a new one. <laughs> that's right. Uh, good point. Uh, no, no, that doesn't uh, quite... Uh... No. <laughs> <sighs> so, um, let's see. Uh, we are... Uh, right before we recorded this, uh, we were in a, a, a writing session, as it were. Well, sort of a pre-writing plotting session yeah. for Note episode taking, 13. Note taking, yapping. Uh, which is uh, going to be coming up next. And that is our year-end finale, really, kind of season finale. Um, huh. And uh, it's going to be fun um, and holiday-ish at points. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we can take a break, probably till you know, late to late January, um, which is good timing because I get to I have to start rehearsing tonight, as a matter of fact, for a show. 
in Richmond for, it's called uh, Roger B. Heard and the Tight 45. It's basically a day in the life of a, of a voiceover guy. So um, where he's got 45 minutes to record ridiculous amount of stuff. 45 minutes? Um, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, That's a really long time. <laughs> yeah, 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 it is. It is. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, it's like a chapter of an audio book and a, and a political ad and a, this, that, the other. It's, it's very funny. Oh, cool. uh, the guy who wrote it, uh, I gave him a few real life examples, and I think some of those ended up in the, in the final script. Nice. So we'll see. People don't understand really. how difficult audio books really are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've only done a couple. One was in Spanish. Um, uh, but they were both nonfiction, so I don't have to worry about different character voices so much. Mm. Um, you've done f- fictional audiobooks. Yes. I had one series. It's no longer available. Not my fault. Dispute with the publisher and the author. Uh-huh. Um, but in that particular series, um, it focused on a group of five people mm-hmm. who, and I can say this now because I'm not telling you the title, um, who, rather than have any kind of identifiable character traits, merely had different ethnicities. Oh, okay. And, yes, and so they would all talk at once in group conversation, and I'm talking <laughs> we had English upscale, English downscale. We had French, we had Arabic. What the fuck? We had <laughs> just, I mean, Irish. Everybody uh, was from somewhere else, all talking together at once. Yeah. Later books, they met another group of five. <laughs> Same thing. Oh, no. So... Yeah, that's one reason why our Karen O'Brien is so good at being multiple characters at one time, mm-hmm. because she did a lot of audiobooks, and that's how you roll. Yeah, you got to flip. You can't. For those not in the know, you can't just record each person's dialogue and then paste it all together. I mean, you could. You could, but, but that would be a lot of work. Yeah, take you years. Yeah. So. I mean, you just hop back and forth. Right. I mean, the whole point of audiobooks is you get paid by. The finished hour, so it's like the the hour of of, of edited, you know, good to go audio. But mm-hmm. <laughs> recording that yeah. and editing all that takes a lot more than an hour. And the whole point is to get that ratio down to like two to one or three to one actual time spent versus the finished audio, so that you're not working for a minimum wage. Uh, if that, what you're starting out, if you don't have, if you're editing it yourself or whatever, as I discovered, as I edited the Spanish audiobook, yeah, it can take a lot longer. We all longer. think we can do yes. it. And we can, yeah. but I, I, I know better now. Yes. The mere thought of 45 minutes of raw audio mm-hmm. just makes me want to vomit. Yeah, yeah. If I have... Uh, well, I had 22, mm-hmm. yeah, a 22 hour <clears throat> Spanish audiobook. And um, so it, it was, it was, uh, I'll tell you, by the, by the end of that, by chapter oh, 18 or so, I was a really good editor because I could just like, chomp, 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 okay, and I realized that I mis said this, mispronounced this one word. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I knew what, exactly what it looked like on the waveform. So I could just go, pew, 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 pew. it was yep. impressive. I wore out a clicker or two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure, for sure. Ah, yeah, no, thank you. So again, I won't say never again because I'm tied to a series that um, is really funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't sell well. So if anybody wants to buy it, it's called Trailer Dogs. There's Trailer Dogs one and two. Oh. It's about life in America's new middle class. It's a uh, humor first person, mm-hmm. and the author and I may be the same person in a lot of ways. Oh. <laughs> so it's really I don't have to do anybody the. The only character I'm doing is me. Uh huh. Um, and so that makes it easy. And she's got a filthy mouth, which you know is something I struggle with. I'm sure you had to really steal yourself for that. Uh, yeah, it was tough. It was tough. <laughs> but yeah, they're good. Uh, trailer Dogs One, Trailer Dogs Two, Trailer Dogs Three. Some point will be coming out, and I will read it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten. I I have come to this conclusion with audiobooks. If I am required to do another one like this one, Mm -hmm. um, I will simply record it and I'm going to ship all the raw footage off to whomever will edit it along with my upload codes and instructions and just call me when you're done. Yeah, I think that's wise. That's money well spent because, yeah, it is. It is Not really because it's not selling enough to make that money back, Ah, but nonetheless. True, compared to the uh, the, the alternative of doing it yourself. Yeah, what the hell. Yeah, no, it makes me weep. So what, like Karen, I mean, I can imagine she's done, I have not heard any of her audiobooks. So what kind of stuff has she done? Do you know? Oh gosh, um, she's done. Uh, she won a, a earphones award. Oh. For, she's done a lot of Christian stuff. Uh-huh. 
um, which so clearly I haven't listened to it either. <laughs> um, but <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. all right, we'll um, we'll just let that yeah. one go. Yes, okay, yeah. cool. Um, and yeah, 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 she's got I don't know, some fifteen twenty titles out there, maybe more. Cool. This is a, a another woman who sounds exactly like Karen, but isn't called Karen. Does some romance novels too. I uh, see. I see. Yes, romance and uh, adult <clears throat> audio uh, can sometimes call for a different nom de mic. Um, and yeah. Uh. I, <laughs> I'm going to tell you mine because I was so proud of myself when I came up with it. Yes. <laughs> um, it's Lizzie Gordon, like Lizzie Borden, because it's all about wax. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie Gordon. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I think. Yes, you know, and that. Oh, if you look for the Lizzie Gordon books, they are fucking filthy. I think filthy. Yeah, if I embarrassingly if, filthy. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, I'll, I'll have to mm. see. There I go again. Good stuff. Good stuff. I actually mean that. I meant that sincerely. Yeah, you're gonna go listen to that, and you'll never be able to look me in the eye again. <laughs> and it was my friend. <clears throat> uh huh. Um, it was one book and of the Lizzie Gordon series is tag teamed uh, with a, a male friend of ours. Uh, <laughs> Rod Steele. Uh. <laughs> no, what did he use? I don't remember what name he used, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, we have, it's uncomfortable sometimes seeing him because yeah. Yeah. I didn't even listen. I couldn't listen. I just sent that straight out to editing. It was like, I don't want to <laughs> tell me nothing. Well, just like, you know, for the on-camera folks, and, you know, I've done some on-camera stuff, but I've never had to do any kind of, uh, you know, romantic, you know, real romantic, much less sex scenes. And I just can't imagine how incredibly awkward that must be. I mean, if you're doing it like, say, real porn, it's probably old hat. But for everyone else, it's like, okay, now wait, we've got to get the, you know, the guy with the light meter is, you know, you know, checking the you know yeah. the color grade of your butt, and uh, you know, <laughs> it's like now we get the butt the, double in the least erotic uh, thing ever. And I, when I see it on TV now, I think it, it, it's I always feel awkward for them because it's like oh these poor people they had to <laughs> and somehow look yeah. really passionate and sexy when that's the last thing in the world easy. they're thinking about. Um, well, oh yay, acting. My darling husband, whom I do adore, yeah. Um, <laughs> I do, and I feel like I have to say that because I'm about to talk shit. Um, <laughs> he should not make design choices. Oh. That's just what we got going on there. Okay. Uh, okay, so he bought a bunch of uh, three, not a bunch, three strands of blue icicle lights. I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> and he was going to mix them with white lights again. I don't know <laughs> mm-hmm. why he was going to make the live oak trees out front the Hanukkah trees, but apparently <laughs> that was the plan. I don't know. Okay. So halfway through that, he decided that the white lights don't go. Um, and now, oddly, you can't find any more of the blue icicle lights. So they've had to be special ordered. He had to pay mm. an extra 30 bucks to get him here fast so he can climb up into the uh-huh. trees, uh-huh. which is dangerous as all hell. Purchase. I can't even go right. out front. Uh, right. right. <laughs> and watch. Like, he's got extension ladders. I mean, he's 20 feet up on an extension ladder, leaning against a rotting oak tree branch. Yeah. Just, That's the holiday spirit, isn't it? Oh, that's why he gets <laughs> mad, I think. Um, but I will have a, a blue cast over my front yard. I don't, again, I don't know why. And I have spare Holy white lights. We don't use white lights because... Christmas. Sorry. White light, all white light people. Yeah. <laughs> there is something wrong with those people. Yeah. Tasteful. What is this tasteful thing about Christmas? How? What? <laughs> if there's one. No. If there's one thing we can agree on that is that taste and Christmas in America, at least, do not belong in the same yes. zip code. Deeply uh, suspicious of the all white light people. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't like them. I'm worried. We had tenants once who lived next door yeah. who were all white light people. 
And for the entire month of December and parts of November, uh-huh. we engaged in Christmas War, um, where when they would leave, we would <laughs> run over and change their lights to big giant C9s in bright colors. <laughs> you Did you put the, then, uh, the inflatable uh, NASCAR Christmas? Uh, uh, no, I have no inflatables. Uh, okay. I have been talked okay. down about inflatables. Mm. Inflatables. I do not also have that giant dragon from Halloween, and I would have put a Santa hat on that, but no. We can do a fundraiser for that, I think. We should do a Patreon uh, uh, account. We should do a Patreon account. Pa- Patreon, yes. For, for Someone that. send us money. Please just send us some money. Just send like money. A buck or two. Lisa needs a dragon. I mean, it's, I you know. I do need a dragon. Yeah. I mean, don't Damn. we all? Don't we all? We interrupt this scintillating discussion to bring you the outtakes from episode 12. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm going to love this so much. I cannot wait. Where are you, Karen? Are you ready? Where's my child? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. We'll see. Uh, I don't know how much dumb Rick I'm going to have in me today, but... Mommy, Gizmo only does important stuff. Now he's from New York. If we find a way to steal the... You have, you have to move the balls to the other side. I'm sorry. Oh, my God, he's frozen. You turned into a pillar of paprika. One is the sun and the other is the moon. Matzo balls. We'll be cheating for you, Vera. <laughs> <laughs> I see a sailor. They're being right. very okay. polite about it, Wolf, but it looks like the American... <laughs> <laughs> of course they are. Oh, sorry. Sorry, only three people per car. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hire <laughs> the Canadian. <laughs> Jody is our novitiate into the ways of BS. <laughs> Welcome, Jody. Now you know. I'm just adding little bits and pieces. That's right. Well, the party didn't start till I walked in, and I probably won't leave until the thing ends. Oh, Audition does the same thing to me. I try and switch it over, and it goes, no, this is not what you want. And I go, well, fine. It appears that Prime Minister Trudeau and the Royal... La, la, la. We love you, Canada! Canada! <laughs> Please let us in! I swear to God I didn't vote for him. I like a large Timmy's! <laughs> I love Tim Horton donuts. I swear it wasn't uh, me. Donuts with poutine. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop. I'm going to drop the bass? Yeah, I'm going to drop the bass. <laughs> drop the bass. Mommy, I love Space Park. They let me drop the bass. <laughs> if a mic drops in outer space, can it be heard? Is there somebody can hear? Break it down. Oh, just give them two turntables and a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> mic drop. Mommy said I'm not allowed to do a mic drop because it's worth $2,000. Hello, Neumann. It's going to come out of my college fund if I do a mic drop, she said. <laughs> Some dumb thing. My blood pressure has just gone up by 60 points and I'm going to fall over and collapse. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Even your mucus is sexy, sir. I just, it is. That's some sexy snot. Here we go, in the White House, and, you know, like, I'm really, really, really terrific. <clears throat> I gotta get psyched up for this. Pecs? Nice, nice pecs? Oh, really? But maybe some other things, too. I don't, I'm very handsome. I haven't seen you down under there, but... Ugh. It's okay, sorry, sorry, I apologize, sir. Not, 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 not meaning Stormy you Stormy had disrespect. no complaints, you know? I heard you kind of had a mushroom thing going on. There we go. Pecs, pecs, shit, I'm sorry I stepped on you, Dale. Stepped on I, you. Then shit. I just stepped all over stepped you. Sorry you. about that. What art are we doing this shit in? Can you imagine. I mean, the golfing season's only what, like six weeks? Do the hum, do hum. Father, father. Ah. I'll boil your bunny. <laughs> I don't know how to hump. It's like a rabbit. I'll boil your bunny, father. Thump, thump, thump. Just call me Humper. Woo. Wesley, is that a new cologne? <laughs> it was filthy, but I loved it. I must do the ringtone. I do not yet have the ringtone. Uh, the, what the fuck are you talking about? Brain hurt. That's all right. I'm waiting for a plumber. I'm waiting for a plumber to arrive. <laughs> it was Dale. It was Dale. I don't. I don't like where this is going, but it was Dale. You're, go- you're going with Mystery Machine? Is that what you're going with? I don't have a punchline for that. There's no punchline for rabbis and duck boats. The news, it came to me straight from the CBC. Uh, uh, so if I don't put this on my Facebook profile, is that okay? <laughs> oh, that's good. 
Okay. Well, I'm happy. <laughs> Jody, that's so awesome. <laughs> Somewhere in there, there was outtakes, uh, oh, too. Oh, fu- yeah, um, they're funny. So, yeah, they're funny, and um, yes. Nancy. You will have heard them by now, probably. Will, and yes, Nancy. including Nancy's, but yes. That was Man, very funny. I, the cool thing about the outtakes is that I don't hear it when it's happening, so it's always a surprise mm-hmm. to me, because, you know, right. we've got, to, I don't hear everybody's mumbling in their own respective booths. So, yeah. Right. It's good yeah, stuff. Yeah, some of the stuff I don't hear, because some of it, uh, and like Chris will usually, his stuff is usually very low volume when he's doing his little... It, so I always, mm-hmm. I'm always surprised when I hear it. It's like, oh, yep, that's great. Mm-hmm. And I turn up the volume. And I probably spend more time mixing those than I do on an episode. They're my favorite but part, all that helpless laughter. Again, we it, really there's a lot of it. just don't care if anybody else likes it. We're having a great time. We are having a blast, yeah. for sure. I hope other sure. people like it so we can keep doing it. Yeah. Because these other the folks that are in the group, they're going to get a little pissed off if we keep using them for nothing. <laughs> so. uh, uh, we'll uh, uh, wait. Uh, wait, we're going to have to pay them at some point. Extra batches of chocolate chip. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> All right. So, uh, so we have, uh, yes, in, uh, 10 days after you listen to this, roughly, yes, no, 10 days, mm-hmm. uh, we'll be here, you'll be hearing the fabulous. Season finale, which we have to write, and the song, which is partly written, which will become a new perennial Christmas uh, play and, and give uh, uh, me and Chris lots of royalties for, uh, for you know, our, oh, yeah. for the decades to come. Um, will it beat my favorite Christmas song? Which my is? My favorite one. Uh, do they know it's Christmas? Oh, that one. Do you know yeah. why that's my favorite song? Please ask me. <laughs> why, uh, Lisa, is that? Because it's horrible. It is horrible. And it's midway through it, they go, it's... this, this, the only bells they'll hear this Christmas time are the clanging chimes of doom. What? <laughs> <laughs> Well-intentioned, but holy crap, that doesn't, it doesn't doom hold up. Doom chimes? It's a yes. chime. The chime doesn't even clang. No. But the doom? I, yeah. I love that part. And tonight, thank God it's them instead, instead of, of you. you. Yes. What the fuck is this? Oh. I bought that 45 as a teenager and cried right. with the goodness right. of the whole thing of helping people. Because I, I yeah. bought it hook, line, and sinker. And then I listened to the lyrics and was like, wait a second. <laughs> Tonight, thank God it's them instead of you? What the- yeah. Oh, fucking ho. Yeah, what is that exactly. all about? Well, it did lead to, to Live Aid and... Uh, uh, the Clanging uh, Chimes of Doom. Clanging Chimes. And the Bitter Sting of Tears sung by Sting, of course. as like, yeah, oh, well, see, I like- got... Okay. The bare naked ladies version, because they appear to have grokked to the <laughs> insaneness of the lyrics. And <laughs> oh, I haven't, I have not heard that. I've not. That's I'm a, a very Canadian, uh, Canadian Fan. shade, which which is quite good. I um, like bare naked ladies. Why don't Canadians like bare naked ladies? I don't know. I thought they were. I mean, they're from there, aren't they? They're not popular yeah. there. I don't know. I don't oh, think so. Okay. People seem they. You know, I like them. They're well, very. We, Literate. We we hope that we've increased our Canadian uh, listenership f- from episode twelve uh, with a fabulous, uh, genuine Canadian content of Miss Jody Crangle as a Mountie, and, sorry. and an I- deeply, ironic, deeply twi- sorry. ironic twist. Uh, uh, Justin Trudeau played by George Washington the uh, Third. There's, uh, you know, um, mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's uh, my favorite part of the outtakes too. Yeah, yeah. What's he have that I don't have? Picks, yeah. sir. Picks. Picks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know got what the, you got down under, sir. Got the mushroom Nancy's, thing. Of, yeah, Nancy's brilliant. <laughs> she is very funny. She is very funny. You can tell who, who in our cast has done stand-up, you know, like you and mm. uh, Nancy. Uh, really? And I didn't know that. I believe she's done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's done some stand-up. Uh, I, I did it twice and was terrified, and it's not my thing. Uh, <sighs> but I And I have great admiration for anyone who does because it is Basically, getting naked on stage. Um, I've done that too, so I suppose it. Took well, yeah, you know, six of one, <laughs> half dozen of the other. <laughs> it's great. It's like okay, there's this guy naked. There's that guy naked. In my advancing age, I would much prefer to be funny than naked. <laughs> so, yeah, right. But right. I'll do either one over waiting tables. True. Done that too. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, bless you. Please break. We'll edit that out. <clears throat> no, we won't. Right. Leave it in. My rule: <laughs> if you're going to eat out. Or ex- yes. involve yourself in any kind of service economy that lives on tips, 
You have to mm-hmm. do that job before you're allowed to go partake in it as a client or a, vent, a restaurant or whatever. Right. And then sitting in judgment as to, do they deserve the 15% or the 20% or the, hmm, should I send them a message? You just don't want to know what's going on in those kitchens. Well, I do. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like, why is Ted Cruz still going to Mexican restaurants, right? Um, Right. (laughs) Oh, I got from our dear friend, the Civility Fairy, sent me um, (laughs) some glitter. It's, It's called Glitter. And it's it's ovaries and boobs and and vajayjays and it's lovely. And I have sworn that the next time Ted Cruz shows his face on Galveston, I personally will go clitter bomb him. <laughs> so. Clitter bomb, yes. Yeah, I was so excited to get them. It's I, gorgeous. I approve of this message, except that a court, if anyone, a law enforcement people are listening, I have nothing to do with it. Uh, yeah, but yes, and Dale <laughs> it's is very the funny. good one. <laughs> Somebody has to be there to bail you out. I know. Thank you. <laughs> I can't yeah, do it if really. I'm in the cell with you. <laughs> Seriously. I, you know, it's only like much later that I realize what you've saved me from. <laughs> go, oh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Unwise well, to make threats. We're definitely on a Secret Service <laughs> watch list. Uh, but uh, Well, maybe they're hey. watching with glee. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, ah. There we go again. Good stuff. Oh, dear God. It's my mother-in-law. How does she know? Oh, man. I Should I? Fruit now. Sure. Well, we'll see. Hello? Yes. Hello? I have you on speaker. What's going on? Can't hear me? Uh, barely. Oh, there you are. That's all right. Okay, well. How are you doing? I'm good. We're in the middle of recording our podcast, so now you're a special guest. Oh, well. Goody, goody. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to call you back, or you want to talk about things that embarrass people? No, neither one. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave and go to Dallas. I will call you later. Okay. Have fun at Dal- in Dallas. Drive carefully. Oh, it's not fun. But oh, yeah, I've just got an errand I've got to do. But okay, N- enough of that. Get back to your podcast. <laughs> Chicken. Come on, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's okay. okay. It's not live. You're safe. I'll talk to you later. Okay, good. (laughs) Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. She might be going to Dallas to to take... mm, She bought me um, some jewelry for for Mm -hmm. my birthday. Um, (laughs) And I took it in to have it sized because it was too big. And um, while it was there at her jewelers, because that's the only jeweler I use, because I happen to know that Bart, that's his name like any reasonable human, is terrified of Claire. <laughs> um, and, be afraid. Be very afraid. Right, and she spends a lot of money there, so it's all good. Yeah. So yeah. I took it there to be sized, and I said, well, while you have it, why don't you appraise it? And they called me back and said, you know, about that mm. ring, it's not, it's fake. Oh, and dear. it's not worth appraising. And I had to call, I had to debate, do I tell Claire? <laughs> but no, she got take, she got ripped off, and so... Okay. Said ring is back in her custody, and I believe she is going to um, rearrange someone's posterior. Well, sounds like the right uh, right woman for the job there. They ought to be feared. Be a feared. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bart's so cool. Bart, the jeweler, is like a, yes. he's a obviously Texan. Um, uh, yes. But former football player, and he's like six four. And humongous wow. with these gigantic sausage fingers, and he makes the right. most beautiful jewelry with those. <laughs> wow, wow, yeah. that's a talent. Yeah. It is. His son Curtis now does too. <laughs> Texas Gold Connection in Greenville, Texas. I heartily endorse them. They will not steal your oh diamonds. My. So this is good. Yeah, you're welcome. My uh, my grandfather used to be a uh, like an engraver mm-hmm. um, in where was it Jackson, Mississippi, um, and. Uh, it was through that that he actually got a job in D.C. with the U.S. Mint, uh, making money, oh. um, because he was an engraver. So you know, there's that career path, guys, um, and which is really lucky for me because that meant that my dad, uh, who was born in Alabama, uh, ended up doing his high school in D.C. and then through that, I got into um, <clears throat> the um, certain government agency, and um, you know, the rest is history, secret history. Uh, <laughs> that no one will ever know. Don't we'll never know. Uh, died so anyway, H. W. Bush, done. Same agency. Yeah. That is sad. It's yeah. not really sad. I mean, it's he's. I'm sure 
you know, it's it's. He wasn't that horrible a human. There you go. That's me no. saying the nicest thing I, I know I, how to say about Republicans. the last, the last non-horrible Republican president. Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with that. That that's fair. I mean, there's some mm-hmm. some wars we might have to talk about, but oh, um, yeah. You know, but still, I mean, nobody's perfect. Do you think? <laughs> do you think someday that people are going to struggle to come up with the positive thing to say about President Trump? Yes, <laughs> I, I, I I think they are. I think they are. I think they it'll be like, well, at least he had the decency to die in office. Oh, there I go again. Get that Secret Service uh, watch list thing. Wasn't Melania or me? Okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning oh, my lesson. Dear. I just okay. boop myself. We're fixing that one in post. But Melania, uh, if you're listening, boop. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Oh, I've dropped my whoopee. Well, that's it. Oh, uh, my. Well, we may. Yes, yes. We're having a bit of fun with, with, uh, with the president on our show. Um, I, I called him the president. Uh, you did. What's wrong with me? With the, that guy at, in the White House. Um, or in Shit Gibbon, I believe, is one you've used yeah, before. Yeah. The Shit Gibbon, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the papaya potentate. Um, Pulcrutinous. <laughs> Um, Arthasaur, I get a big workout. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. Or I can just Google what have the Scottish said about Trump? <laughs> well, <the laughs> I Scots. get like ten, ten good nicknames. They then. do have a way with insults. <sighs> indeed, they do. Mm-hmm. Indeed, they do. Well, on that um, respectful note, uh, <laughs> I know I probably should edit some of this out. I don't know why. Yeah, some of yeah. it, you know. We will, <laughs> but we hope that your uh, pre-Christmas um, interlude here is uh, not as stressful as it as as normal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, um, go back and listen to old episodes. That'll help. It helps yeah. me. Um, yeah. And you know, it's a mental health project. You're really, really here. nice. I'll send you chocolate. I've been making chocolate this year instead Ooh. of my graham crack. Mm. <laughs> graham crack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what Good. I call it. It's a it's white trash trailer coffee, uh, toffee, essentially, but it has Graham crackers in it. My last name mm-hmm. is Graham. Graham crackers. It's really, 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 really good. So oh, people ask wow. for it every year. Uh, hello, am I on the list? <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody's on that list this year because you, I cannot make it in high humidity. It just doesn't come out right. I'll have to keep trying. <laughs> Instead, I have made trailer trash chocolate. Yeah. Which is okay. chocolate covered potato chips. Oh my. It's so fucking good. No idea. That sounds. I'll send yeah. you some. I just did a test batch sent out to the West Coast. I can send some East Coast. It's very good. Good. Well, or you can wait till I, I get back out there sometime next year and nope. record another episode and, True, and I get some fried some. ribs and catfish and some, some <laughs> trailer trash. <laughs> Chocolate covered potato chips, which sounds just like the perfect. It is so good. You know, it's end to that meal. So good. <laughs> no, so good. <laughs> cool. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. What? Now what? We're done? We're, I think we're done. All right. All right.